Hello, this again is Jim to the Slim, and where we this is my walkthrough for Half-Life 2. Where we last left off, we were just starting Sand Traps, a new chapter, yay. So this is a really annoying place, full of zombies. You could get off, and there's actually a room to our right where there are some supplies and stuff, but I don't feel like doing that because zombies are scary. Yeah, Pro but if I had, it would have taken more time, which may have been a good thing. Um, but no, nah, didn't didn't wanna, didn't wanna. So anyway, then you come up to this roadblock, and there's a house over on our left, in front of us. But all that's in there are some, uh, a few supplies and some of dogs' balls. Yeah, so if you want to go play with them, you know where to go. But we get enough of dogs' balls coming up anyway. But first, we have a combine roadblock. I'm gonna stop here, because here are more of dogs' balls. Oh, that's right, there are more dog spalls here. Anyway, so then I get back in the car, trigger another one of the dog spalls. They always come in pairs, you notice. Um, that doesn't really help the whole innuendo thing. So, except for that one time there were three, but you know, some people are different. <laughs> so, so, we go in here and kill all these guys. That guy tries to take us from behind when we're not looking. What's up? How are you doing? Oh, nice beds. Do the combine sleep? Uh, I don't know, but they have medkits and um, ammo. And over here is a Healy device. Um, actually they called that a medkit in Half-Life 1, but that's confusing. So I call it a Healy device. And you can go up here, you can go up in the other tower too. And really as you'll see, there is no point to going up in these towers, because here I was trying to disconnect the, um, the power line to maybe disable the roadblock. So there's nothing in the house to disconnect, and there's nothing up here to disconnect. So I guess you just straight up can't disconnect it. I guess. So I use the use key to get back on the ladder, because I don't like jumping off the edge. Gordon Freeman doesn't do very well with ladders. That's how this guy say he didn't like ladders in this game. I'm like, ah, oh, you should play Half-Life 1. You'll be walking up a ladder and you'll turn to look to the left or the right, and you'll be off the ladder and you'll die from falling. <laughs> ah, Half-Life. So at least this game they made it so you can stay on the ladder. Oh yeah, go off to the left here because off to the right the road was collapsed. You don't want to fall and die, do you? And here's another roadblock. There's no combine here yet. That's weird. It's just messed up. Who the hell messed up this place? So, this is training you how to camp. Be a spawn camper. That one, I think, drops dog's balls. But you can spawn camp on these ships them in the face as they spawn. And it actually requires a lot less skill than, um, I mean, it just requires the knowledge of where they're going to spawn. It requires a lot less skill than actually having to kill them when they've taken up tactical positions. Just kill them right after they spawn. Um, so yeah, that one dropped a couple balls. They always come in pairs, pretty much always.
And, um, yeah, there's some batteries in this junkyard. Now, this will, in this, inside of this house, is your next land location, so I always take the boxes in, and maybe a barrel or two, um, so that we can climb up to it, because it's, you'll see where it is in a minute. And I went back out here to grab the barrel, but I knocked it over, so I pulled over that upright barrel, and it knocked over. I was like, forget it. So anyway, you see this battery, you put it in this... Of course, it requires three batteries, because everything comes in threes in video games. So you go, and they're car batteries, so you go to that junky car, and grab this one. And that'll open the gate we saw earlier. But excuse me, you're gonna mess up my physics, so please move. Go be dead elsewhere. Thank you. Now... You can stack a variety of things to get up here, but I just like the boxes and the barrel, because they're just standard, you know, standard deviation. Oh no, I hate standard deviation. Ah, eh, let me up here. Let me up. Let me up. No, the ceiling's in the way. But this is your next lambda location on top of that bathroom right there. Um, do the jump crouch that you learned in Half-Life 1 grab stuff. Don't need that. Don't need this. Should've used my magnum to take out those guys. Sword on here. Yeah. Lambda and, um, opening the gate. So now we proceed into another curvy tunnel. You know, I, I've always liked curves, but when it comes to tunnels, I don't really like them. <laughs> Yeah. So we wait. Play the waiting game. But we're playing Half-Life 2 already. So we have to multitask here. So, um... Yeah. This headset's kind of making my ear itch. I wonder if it has dog hair stuck in the foamy part. So I, my dog's hair gets everywhere. Um, yeah, so how are you guys doing? Oh no, that was my hair. Um, so... Now we're out to this beautiful vista of Lighthouse Point. Why are lighthouses always in beautiful locations like this? Huh? Can you answer that? Over where? Up. Okay. You made it. No spit. We're picking up radio chatter. They're looking for your car. Oh great. Get your car in the garage. I already have. So basically, they jack your car. Well, they gave it to you anyway. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's okay. a secret path along the cliffside. Sweet. No going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Oh great. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Yeah. Especially since I here am the, drop the most intelligent one here. He says, talking to computers. <laughs> uh, so basically, you wait for the dropships to land. It helps if you have a visual on where they're about to land. But remember that spawn camping tactic we learned earlier? Yeah. So... Oh, they're already spawning. Now wait for the next drop ship. Over the road so you can hide behind this truck so you don't get shot at by the drop ship itself. running out of time here, so... Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to cut off the end of this video. I'll put it on the next one. I'll just, uh... Yeah. I'm not sure how much I'll have to cut off, we'll see. Uh... So the next dropship drops over here. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. 
drop ship, whatever. I don't even know what that is about. Don't these drop ships look pretty cool? The music's cool, the drop ships are cool. I love combine technology. They're like aliens mixed with robot prosthetics, android prosthetics. Yeah, so the last dropship will drop over here. Um, hurry up your butt. Yeah, my timer was already going off, so... So just spawn camp on here. This is the last dropship. <laughs> yeah, get out of the way. Move, bitch, get out of the way. Okay, shoot these guys in the face. It helps to shoot them in the face, because headshots count for more. I guess. 